Today I'm going to uh, teach you how to do the front view of the B1 drawing. Now the B1 drawing, which is this in front of you, is used in uh, multiple colleges throughout southern Ontario. It's just a uh, isometric drawing and I'm going to teach you how to do the front view orthographically. So orthographic views, you have a front view, top view, and the side view. So today we'll concentrate on the front view. So let's take a look at this. I've already marked in the measurements myself on this. And if we're going to draw this orthographically, from the front view, we're going to see this line, this line, this line, this line, and this line. This is really the only line from the front view that we are not going to see. It's hidden behind this 90 here. So even though I put the measurement in, we're not actually going to be uh, drawing that line or showing that line whatsoever. So, when I like to do these drawings, I always tend to go from left to right of the drawing. I just find it's it works better for me. You can go right to left, whatever you want to do. So we have a vertical line straight down here, which is the first thing I'm going to draw. And then I'll just work my way across. Uh, things that are going to be helpful today, obviously, if you have a circle template, would be a lot of help. And the scale ruler, so you can pre-measure the lines, uh, etc. So let's look at a couple things here. Okay, so we're going to look at a couple things. The one thing I don't have, and I wish I did, is a T-square. So I'm going to do my best to set this drawing up for you so you can uh, and, and square it up the best that I can. So let's start. Move this out of my way here a bit. We're just going to start with a uh, blank piece of paper. Now, often in your classes, when you have to do these for an assignment, you have to do the border and you have to do a title block. But for today, we're just going to touch base and and do the actual front view of the B1 drawing. So, the first measurements that I have are 3 feet 6 inches here, 3 feet 6 inches, and then I have 6 feet up here. So, you could actually make one straight line 9 feet 6 inches. Or you could just do one little line first, three feet six, etc. So I'm going to do one solid line, nine feet six inches, which will be from here to here. So I'll take my ruler, I'll find quarter inch, and I know that I'm going nine feet six inches. So let's start right about here. There's nine, nine feet six inches. Okay, so that is this, <clears throat> this line here is this entire line right here. Okay, so it's 9 feet 6 inches. We know that 3 feet 6 inches up from the bottom, we have to put in a T. It's also 3 feet 6 inches in length. So we'll measure up 3 feet 6 inches and we'll just simply mark it. Again, using your quarter inch scale. I just put the uh, divisions down on six inches and I'll mark three. Now we know that this line is three feet six inches here coming out from the T. So we'll just come out and mark three feet six inches. Again, I'm going to try to square this up the best that I can. And there's three feet six inches, just like that. So, so far, we've driven this, this entire line here and this T here. But we have to do these hubs, right? We have to put the hubs in here. The hubs are a quarter inch in length in their entirety, and they're a quarter inch from the center of the T out. So when I do the measurements for the T's, or for any hubs, I like to use this little section right here, the divisions. It's quick, it's easy. You know that the hub is an entire quarter inch, so all you got to do is put the center line here on your vertical line, and, and you make your hubs. So, the next step here is to measure out quarter of an inch on the entire T. So what I'll do is I'll put my 
scale ruler down. I'll make a little mark. Okay, so I've marked the quarter inch uh, hubs. Now I just got to draw them in, and they're a quarter inch each. So. And that's it. There's your T. So let's carry on with the drawing. Up here is this 90. So the 90 cuts across in front of the viewer. So we're going to come across the page. And we have 7 feet 0 inches to the center of the next T. So let's just do that line. 7 feet uh, 0 inches. So again with your quarter inch. I'm going to put this down on the 7. Square it up the best I can here. And there we have seven feet, zero inches. So like the T, we also have to put the hubs in for the 90s. So let's do that. We know they're a quarter inch. Everything is a quarter inch. Quarter inch is the magic number. So starting down here, I'm going to mark a quarter of an inch. Flip your ruler, mark a quarter of an inch. Flip the ruler again. Get it as squared up the best that I can. And there we have the T and the 90. <clears throat> so we have so far completed this part of the drawing, this part, this part, and we've come to the center of the T, which is right here. So our next section is four feet, three inches. So why don't we just add four feet, three inches onto this. So we'll set it at four and there's three inches. And I'm gonna put a little mark there indicate my pipe here going up five feet so we know on the top of the t the branch of the t is five feet so let's just draw it in i've marked it set to zero and we're going to go from five feet there we go so now we have to put the hubs in for the t Again, everything is quarter inch, magic number. Watch how quick this is. Mark it. Mark it. And mark it. Now, you just have to draw in the branches, or the uh, hubs. Yeah, I'm doing my best here without a T square. There you go. So, you have a T, a 90, and another T. So, what do we got going on here on this drawing? So, so far, we have taken this uh, isometric and we're drawing it orthographic. Now we reach this point here. So, here is right here. And this 90 is going away from the viewer. So the four foot three inch mark has to come from the center of the T to this point here. And then we're gonna put a 90 uh, going away from the viewer. So how do we do that? Well, we get out our trusty uh, template and you look for a quarter of an inch right here. So we're gonna place that So that your markings come to the end of the line and you're going to make a circle that is not quite complete. So there you see the circle is open. It hasn't touched the line. It hasn't touched that pipe. Now what we'll do is put in the hub. 
The hub is a quarter of an inch from the center out. From the set from the line out is a quarter of an inch. Mark it. <clears throat> and then again, you just do your hub. Okay, so remember at this point too in these drawings that neatness is everything. These drawings have to be done neat. You can't be sloppy with them. I don't have a T-square. I'm just kind of um, doing a, a quick demo for you. And it's coming out pretty neat. So, just take your time with things. And uh, you'll be alright. So, here we have a 90 going away from the viewer. This is the same 90 going away from the viewer. Because this is our view. And we're seeing the back of the 90. Which is this circle here. Okay, so... Now that we've done the 90 going away, we don't see this pipe. It's hidden behind this 90. But we do see this one, 6 foot 3 inches. Now that 6 foot 3 inch measurement is going to begin here and work its way up. So what we do is put your uh, scale ruler on 3 inches. And we know we have to go to 6. So you come down and you stop just short of the circle. So <clears throat> that measurement is six foot three inches from the 90 to the end of the pipe. And that measurement starts from the center of the circle, that line up to here should be six feet, three inches. And there you have it. So the only thing missing <clears throat> from this front view is this hub. We're going to draw that hub because technically you can see it. So we would measure a quarter inch out, mark it, and a quarter inch across. That's it. That is the B1 drawing complete. So I hope that helps you guys. Remember, quarter inch is the magic number. Thanks for viewing.